Do I have to file ISF for cabinet organizers? Welcome back to our series on customs brokerage and international trade. Today, we're going to address a question that many importers have. Do you have to file an importer security filing ISF, for cabinet organizers? Let's find out. First, let's briefly discuss what an importer security filing ISF, is. The ISF, also known as the 10 plus 2 rule, is a U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, regulation that requires importers to provide specific information to CBP about their imported goods before they arrive in the United States. The ISF consists of 10 data elements that must be provided by the importer, such as the manufacturer's name and address, the ship-to-party information, and the country of origin, among others. Additionally, there are two data elements that must be provided by the carrier or shipping agent, such as the vessel name and the AMS, Automated Manifest System, Bill of Lading Number. Now, let's get to the main question. Do you have to file an ISF for cabinet organizers? The answer depends on the specific circumstances. Generally, if you are importing goods into the United States by vessel, then you are required to file an ISF unless your shipment falls under one of the exemptions. There are a few exemptions to the ISF filing requirement that importers should be aware of. The most relevant exemption to cabinet organizers would be the exemption for goods that are imported as bulk cargo or goods that are imported on an immediate exportation or transportation and exportation T &E winking face. Entry. So, do you have to file an ISF for cabinet organizers? In most cases, the answer is yes. Cabinet organizers are not likely to fall under the exemptions mentioned earlier, as they are typically not imported as bulk cargo and are not part of an immediate exportation or T&E entry. Now, let's shift our focus to customs bonds. A customs bond is a financial guarantee between an importer, a surety company, and CBP. It ensures that the importer will comply with all customs regulations, including the payment of any duties, taxes, or fees that may be owed. There are two types of customs bonds, a single entry bond and a continuous bond. A single entry bond is used for one-time shipments, while a continuous bond is used for frequent importers who have ongoing importing activities. As an importer of cabinet organizers, you will likely need to obtain a customs bond. The specific bond amount required will depend on various factors, including the value of your shipment and the type of goods being imported. Navigating the complexities of customs regulations and ensuring compliance can be a daunting task. That's where a customs broker can help. A customs broker is a licensed professional who specializes in customs clearance and assists importers with the documentation and processes involved in importing goods. Using a customs broker can provide several benefits for importers, especially when it comes to navigating the requirements of ISF filing and customs bonds. They can ensure that all necessary information is accurately provided, help avoid any penalties or delays, and save you time and effort in dealing with the intricacies of customs procedures. If you are importing cabinet organizers into the United States by vessel, you will likely need to file an importer security filing ISF, and obtain a customs bond. Working with a customs broker can greatly simplify the process and ensure compliance with customs regulations. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this information useful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Disclaimer note below. See you.